Hey guys, my name's Haley. Welcome back to the Disney Cupcake Channel. Today I'm going to show you guys all 26 of my popcorn buckets and 20 of my Disney Park sippers. So let's get started. So I'm going to split this video up into categories of where I got each of these items from. So first we're going to start off with Tokyo Disney. Tokyo Disney has the absolute best popcorn buckets ever. They're amazing, they're beautiful, they're so well detailed, and that is where most of my favorite popcorn buckets are from. This first one is the Buzz Lightyear popcorn bucket from the Tokyo Disney Resort. This is a kind of big rectangle shaped bucket and it looks like the Buzz Lightyear box from Toy Story 1 and it is all white, has blue and purple detailing, has the Buzz Lightyear packaging on it and it even has the Buzz Lightyear figure inside. You can open up this front section but not get the popcorn from there. You actually get the popcorn from the back and there can be a lot of popcorn in there and it even has this nice little serving tray on it. It has a light blue strap and it says Buzz Lightyear with stars and spaceships. Next up from Tokyo Disney we have the Mickey Mouse bucket. This is a very popular design for the international parks like Shanghai and Tokyo Disney. This one is themed to Mickey Mouse and it is a jelly bean kind of like ovaly shape and the ears lift up to reveal the big bowl of popcorn. Again this one fits a lot of popcorn inside of it. And this one also has a strap as well, which is super convenient. The little clips for the straps are actually Mickey's gloves. The straps that hold on to Mickey's gloves are black and contain the silhouettes of Mickey Mouse. And it does say Tokyo Disney Resort on it. The next bucket I have from the Tokyo Disney Resort is the toy chest from Toy Story. This one has a clear base. You can even see the popcorn through it, but also gives the effect of the toy chest just being held up by its wheels. Woody is a 3D almost figure that is popping out of the toy chest, so it looks like he's standing outside of it. You can see all of your favorite toys, which is also clear so you can see more popcorn inside. And then the little chest is peeking open. The actual chest does not open, but you can retrieve the popcorn from the top, again holding lots and lots of popcorn. On that lid that I just opened, it says Toy Story and Disney and Pixar. The toy chest theming is themed through all four sides and it has yellow clips with a blue strap with a bunch of stars. Super fun popcorn buckets from the Tokyo Disney Resort. Now let's move over to one item I have from Shanghai. So my one item from Shanghai is this little straw that one of you guys actually sent to me and it is a little Lotso. I absolutely love the design of this one. The art for it is absolutely adorable. I thought that was super cute that it is a little straw and it is also a keychain so you can take it off. Another place I only have one item from is the Disney Store. This is the kind of disco Mickey little sipper and it comes with a swirly sparkly straw. This kind of reminded me of Epcot so I had to pick it up. Next up moving over to Disney on Ice. I have two cups from there. This first one is a Mickey and Friends cup. It has a red base and red handle and it has the silhouettes of all of the Fab Five going around the cup. The actual cup is plastic and it does have a light in it, so it does flash and light up there in the center. The other cup I have from Disney on Ice is this flounder cup. The base looks like coral and rock, and the handle is actually flounder's tail. It is all yellow and blue, and you can actually lift up his back fin to open the cup. Now moving over to items I got from movie theaters. This first one is from Avengers Endgame, and it has a lot of your favorite characters on it, like Thor, Hulk, Black Widow, Captain America, Iron Man, and Hawkeye. This whole popcorn bucket is different shades of blue and contains the Avengers and Marvel Studios logo. This is a fully tin bucket and I got this at a Cinemark theater. The next popcorn bucket I have from an AMC theater is the Toy Story 4 popcorn bucket. This was one of the only popcorn buckets released in the US for Toy Story 4. The background is also different shades of blue and contains the Toy Story 4 logo. It also contains your favorite characters that are actually 3D textured and they are Bo Peep, Buzz, and Woody. Another really fun popcorn bucket I got from a Cinemark theater is this Mary Poppins Returns umbrella bucket. I love how it even has the logo on it and the very well detailed little handle to the umbrella. 
The umbrella is black and the handle does have the little wooden bird and it was super, super cute. The last two buckets I got from a movie theater, this is from an AMC theater, are these pill-shaped Ralph Breaks the Internet popcorn buckets. The first one we have is Ralph. Their whole head pops open and this does hold, I think like a medium popcorn in it. So a lot of popcorn can be held in this one as well. The back has the little logo for Ralph Breaks the Internet. And the one to go with Ralph is Vanellope. I love how they even included the candy on her hair. This popcorn bucket opens up the same way. Moving away from buckets from movie theaters, I also got some cups. This first cup I have is from Star Wars The Last Jedi. This can contains Luke Skywalker holding the lightsaber with that kind of washed silver and red texture looking background that was used a lot for The Last Jedi. This is from Cinemark and this is a large cup. Our next cup is also from Cinemark. This is from Beauty and the Beast and this is a like plasticky harder cup. Not the highest quality cup or lid but it does contain the rose in the little glass case. Our last item from the movies, this one is also from Cinemark. This one I got for Avengers Endgame. This is the Infinity Gauntlet. This has a lot of really cool details and textures on it. It opens up from the fingers. Now moving over to items from Disneyland. First we're going to start off with straws. Our first straw we have here is an alien with the claw. I got this one in Tomorrowland for Pixar Fest and it contains the little alien with the little claw keychain holding him. So same idea with these straws. They all have removable keychains. Next up we have another one of my favorites. This is the Luxo lamp with the little Luxo ball underneath. This is all blue and it contains a removable keychain. This last straw we have is actually really unique. This one is from Disneyland, but this was actually meant to put on top of your water bottle. And it also came with a straw you could put through it as well. And this one actually lights up. It is super cute and it's a little Mickey snowman. It's even textured like ice. Our last smaller item from Disneyland is this Ratatouille spoon. The spoon actually looks wooden and is textured like wood. Moving over to cups from Disneyland, this first one we have is the Dinoco gas can. This one is very, very well themed, even from the little description in the back. The next item we have is from Pixar Fest in Disneyland. This is the alien with the claw. This one lights up green and it flashes in many different variations. It also has little stickers and things on the outside that say, ooh, the claw. Our next cup from Disneyland is the Pixar Fest mug that you would get at the Disneyland resorts and they contain Coco, the whole Incredibles family, Wally, and Eve. Our next cup is from Cars Land from Flo's V8 Cafe. I got a milkshake inside of this one and it was absolutely amazing. So this cup is themed like a diner cup and it says Cars Land on it and the theming, having this in the land was so much fun. Our last cup from Disneyland is the Woody Boot. I love how it even has the detail of Andy written on the bottom. It has a lot of really fun textures. Moving away from the Disneyland zippers, we have this super fun combo that came out for Pixar Fest at the Disneyland Resort. This is the Mike and Sully popcorn bucket and zipper. They even have attaching bases and they are all purple. The mic is the sipper, and then the popcorn bucket is Sully. This is super big. The back of him opens to reveal the popcorn. It does have those little sides to hold your popcorn all inside. And this one even comes with a black strap, which is super helpful to carry around your drinks and popcorn. And this has all of the Monsters Inc. doors with the Monsters Inc. logo. Now for the popcorn buckets I got in Disneyland. This first one was also from Pixar Fest from California Adventure. This features characters from Cars, Toy Story, and Inside Out and has a bunch of fun theming to fit the character around them. And it says Disneyland Resort on it and it has neon green lid. This next one from Disneyland has a gold lid and features the Fab Five on the Astro Orbiter with a really fun sunset going around and this one also says Disneyland Resort. Our next bucket for the Disneyland Resort is the Mickey Mouse Balloon. This came in many different colors and it has the Mickey little icon on it. You can open up this bucket by just popping open the back. Now moving over to where the majority of my sippers and buckets are from, the Walt Disney World Resort. 
The first zipper I have is from Goofy's Glaciers in Disney Springs. This one comes with an icy and it has the Fab Five faces and signatures all around the clear glittery cup. It also has a super fun red little Mickey hat on the top with a straw. Next up we have this blue Walt Disney World Resort refillable cup and this has the Fab Five on it in their blue fancy outfits. I do have a lot more of these resort cups. There are just so many of them that I didn't even include them in this video because a lot of them are the same. I just, just have them in different color lids. The next zipper we have from Walt Disney World is from Epcot. This is the Test Track Traffic Cone zipper. This is a like navy blue traffic cone with the Test Track logo and design on it and it even comes with a bendy straw. The next zippers we have, I actually have four of them. They are bowling pins from Splitsville Luxury Lanes at Disney Springs. I have a sparkly pink, a clear purple, clear blue, and clear green. Next we have the R2-D2 zipper mug. This has the very detailed R2-D2 with a white handle coming out of one of his legs. And he also has another little lift kind of accessory that opens up his head to reveal your drink. Our next zipper from Walt Disney World is the Celebration Mickey zipper. I found this one at Magic Kingdom and it is the new version of Mickey Mouse, the new cartoon version. He looks absolutely adorable and he even has his blue bow tie and his blue and yellow hat that is actually attached to the straw. You can open up this Mickey Mouse by just popping off the top of his head. <laughs> Sounds so violent. Our last zipper from the Walt Disney World Resort is this BB-8. It is super well detailed. I love how they even made it look worn and dirty and it comes with a blue straw. Before moving into popcorn buckets at Walt Disney World, there is one item that is not a popcorn bucket that I wanted to make sure to include. This is an ice cream sundae bowl. This is the Mickey Mouse kitchen sink which you can find on Main Street and this looks like Mickey's pants. The little knobs are Mickey's hands and it has a black sink. Now moving into my last set of popcorn buckets for this video. Our next one is the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train car. It also includes the black detailing, even the little lock, and you can use that little lock to then open up your popcorn bucket. This holds a lot of popcorn in it as well, it is just like one big bowl. The wheels actually move on this bucket, and if you got more than one, you could actually attach them to each other. And this one includes a plastic brown handle. Next up, to match that mug I showed you guys earlier, we have the Walt Disney World Blue Fab Five Bucket with a blue lid. From Animal Kingdom in celebration of the Lion King you can find this drum bucket. It includes a tan textured lid. The base includes different shades of brown. It is very very well textured and includes a lot of detail. It also has a lion on it and the strap includes some fun Lion King themed artwork in a bunch of different colors. Next up we have the Dumbo popcorn bucket. This one is super cool, again themed to another attraction. It includes yellow and blue detailing and it is all gray and his ears even fold out and you can also fold them back in for storage and this includes a gray handle. Next up we have one of my favorite screen printed buckets. This is the Disney Foods bucket that I got at Epcot at Walt Disney World. This includes all of your favorite park rides and icons just made out of Disney park food. It is super, super pretty, a lot of fun to look at and find all the different foods and figure out what attractions they're trying to show. Next up we have the Green Alien. I got this one from Hollywood Studios for Toy Story Land and this includes the big alien and the mouth opens to reveal the popcorn. It is so cute. It holds so, so much popcorn and the strap is absolutely adorable as well. It almost looks like a film strip and includes a bunch of pictures of even more aliens. Our next popcorn bucket is Oogie Boogie from Night before Christmas. You can see the little snakes inside of his mouth with black detailing and he is standing on a red base that is made of dice. It also includes a black strap that says Disney Parks and includes some other designs from Nightmare Before Christmas. Next up we have the Christmas Mickey Mouse bucket. He has adorable black boots and textured little white outfit. He's holding a green sack and he even has a Christmas hat on. 
You reveal the popcorn by lifting up his hat. This also includes a strap that has pictures of Mickey Mouse in Christmas time and it says Disney Parks on it. Our next Disney World bucket is the Steamboat Willy Balloon, very similar to the Disneyland Balloon bucket, but this one looks like Steamboat Willy. It is all gray, black, and white. It opens up the same way and holds a lot of popcorn. This one also has really fun straps with Mickey hand clips and it has the film strip from Steamboat Willie on it. This next one is also very similar. This is the Minnie Mouse balloon bucket. She has her classic polka dot pants on with her big polka dot bow. This one also has the fun hand clips and the straps have mini shoes on them. Our next bucket is from Disney's Animal Kingdom. This one was released for Rivers of Light and this is the Lotus Flower. This one has different shades of green leaves on the bottom and this one actually lights up so you can enjoy the show at night. And this one has a green strap with the flower and the vines all over it. This one opens up just by lifting up the top of the flower. This one also holds a lot of popcorn it's just one big bowl. <laughs> Next up we have the R2-D2 popcorn bucket to match the R2-D2 mug and this one has all of the same details and textures of the smaller mug and this one has a dark blue plastic handle with the removable R2-D2 head. Our last bucket for this video is the TIE Fighter bucket. This one does not hold that much popcorn but it is super cool and jai enormous. This one has super big black wings, all textured and very, very detailed. The center part holds the popcorn, so there's not too, too much in there, but still very, very cool. This one also has a big strap on it, and this is for Star Wars The Force Awakens. So I hope you guys enjoyed that popcorn bucket collection video. I love looking through all the popcorn buckets, and I absolutely love collecting them. Make sure to comment down below what your favorite popcorn bucket was. I would love to hear about it, or if you collect any of them, which one is your favorite. Make sure you guys check out my Walt Disney World videos. I'll link down below so you guys can see more Disney Park popcorn buckets. Also, make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys do not miss any more Disney Park videos. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All the links are down below so you guys can see more behind the scenes of new popcorn buckets that are coming out or right whenever I get a new one. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and remember to do what you love and do what makes you happy. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!